In today's video, I'm gonna talk about a new DaVinci Resolve feature called the Film Look Creator, and it allows you to get cinematic looks very easily and quickly inside DaVinci Resolve. It's a useful tool and it can speed up your editing. If you're new here, we have over 200 videography related videos, so lots of content for you to learn from. And if you wanna know any of the music or the equipment we use to make our videos, all links are in the description. Let's jump in. In a recent update, Resolve added the Film Look Creator, which is a very simple effect that you can apply now to clips to get very easy cinematic looks or just changes in general. Whereas before you'd have to go to the color page and make a lot of changes here. And while you can get very professional pinpoint accurate results here, it sometimes is a bit overkill when you're just looking for a quick way to apply some effects. Maybe you're on a tight deadline or you're working on a project where the budget isn't high and you just need the clip to look good and it doesn't need to be something where you're spending hours color grading. That being said, I always do recommend knowing how to use the color page and we do have tutorials on color correction and another one on color grading. Beyond that, we have to tutorials on skin retouching and several other more advanced features in Resolve. But in today's tutorial, we will be focusing on just the edit page. I have two clips loaded into the timeline. These are ungraded clips that were purposely shot under exposed to maintain the exposure in the background for the sunset. The first clip is of Ali and the second clip is just a locked off shot of the sunset. So if we wanted to get a more cinematic look or to, you know, dramatically color correct this in a very easy way, we can now use the film look creator effect inside Resolve. So to do that, make sure you're in the edit page, go down to open effects, and then under open effects, let's scroll down until we see the Resolve effects film emulation. Today we're going to be focused on this film look creator. So let's go ahead and grab it and drag it onto our footage. And then over on the right side, we have, you know, our normal video settings, but then under the effects tab, you'll see we now have the film look creator. And this gives you a whole bunch of very easy to use parameters that can get you a good looking result fairly quickly. You have some presets at the top. So this one's default 65 mil. We have 35 mil cinematic, which adds some black bars, bleach bypass, nostalgic. This creates a border and makes it look like it's actually film. And then we can go back to default, a clean slate, or you know, do some custom stuff. But you can also do some custom stuff using one of the presets. So we'll just go back to 65 mil. And we'll first start with the color settings. Under the exposure, we can darken it a bit. We'll then pump the contrast, bring down the highlights, change the white balance to make it more orange like a sunset change the tint so that the red pops a little more increase some of the saturation pump up the richness a little bit and you can already see that just in this color setting section alone there are more than enough parameters that can get you drastic changes in your footage and sometimes this is all you need in this case this is probably pushed way too far, but for the point of showing like crushed black colors and an exaggerated sunset, but yeah, this is definitely very dramatic. And there's still a ton of other options down below. Like you can go to vignette and darken the edges. You can add some halation, which essentially wraps some of the colors around the edges. We can add some bloom in the highlights. We can also add some grain to the footage to simulate real film. Obviously that's very exaggerated, but just to show off what it is doing. If we did want, we could add some flicker. And under gate weave, this is a pretty cool effect. This essentially simulates how an individual frame of film will move as it runs through the gate. So if we maximize this all the way, it will give you an exaggerated look of what it does, which is sort of like a wobble back and forth.
And then of course we can add the film gate, but you can take it a step further and make it, you know, very widescreen. You can increase the padding. Change it to Super 16, even Super 8. That's pretty cool. And then under the global blend, this allows you to find a blend between the effects you added and the original ungraded clip. So that's where we started. And then if you wanted, you could go all the way to the final or, you know, you may find out that you did the effects too heavy and that's where you want it around 60%. But just in a few minutes, we've created like a replica sort of very dramatic cinematic film look. And I think it looks pretty good. And one last thing I want to mention at the very top, you can actually blend the color or the effects. So for example, some of the bloom effects that are happening here where it's fading into the tree line, you can dial that back if you don't like it. Or if you want to keep the effects, but just have less color, you can roll that back as well. All of a sudden you have a drastically different look and it just takes literally a couple seconds. And that's how you can get cinematic looks fast in DaVinci Resolve using their new film look creator. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like that in the future. We have over 200 videography related videos, so lots of content for you to learn from. And if you want to know any of the music or the equipment we use to make our videos, I've left all links in the description. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.